there up nice and early and out of the house and on the road because we are going to get there's a Pokemon stop by that church right there oh, okay. just to let you know um, we are going not to get Pokemon balls <laughs> or poke balls but we are going to get what are we going to get crystal our tattoos our tattoos today that's Right, we are driving up to Big Bear. Kaya is driving us. Hello, Kaya. Hi, I'm not getting a tattoo. Kaya will never get a tattoo, but she's driving us up to Big Bear so we can get our tattoos. Yes. Kaya does not does not want the pain. Uh, not against a pet tattoo. It's not that, not it's not pain. that pa painful. Um, how sensitive I am. Think about that one. Yeah. yeah. I have I high pain tolerance, but I have very sensitive on my skin. Yeah, but I think you could handle one like on your arm or shoulder or something where it doesn't hurt that bad. My arm didn't feel it. It really could. She could handle it. She's just, she's just being a big baby. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, bugger. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful ride up to Big Bear, so we will show you some scenery as we go. And yeah, we will uh, see you all soon. I'm going to do what I can to uh, finish the paint job that I in uh, Glendale. There's uh, do a closet, finish up the bathroom, and trim on all the windows and door jams. That's uh, pretty much it. Some cabinets maybe, and then I have to do some wiring and some plumbing. So uh, hopefully I can get that all done today. It is a bit of a drive out there, uh, depending on the traffic, anywhere from an uh, hour and 15 to two hours. So, I, it's not quite as hot as it's been, so. But I did bring a fan, so when I'm in the closet, I won't be dying. I know that something I wasn't looking forward to, painting inside the closet. All right, we'll see you there. So everybody, here we are. We made it up to the demented dollhouse, Psycho Sarah. Doing our tattoos today with the unknown boyfriend working on Crystal over here. And uh, just We're getting on. ready to pour ink. And Sarah's just getting ready to pour some ink. I'm doing my cardinal. Okay, so back in the bathroom right now. I just have to remove all of this tape, and I'm going to have to cut around it because uh, the paint all come off like little sheets. It's so I'm going to have to make sure I uh, don't pull it off. I don't want to have to do too much touch up in here. Got my fan, so a little air blowing in here. I was dying the other day. Alright, so Crystal is well on the way into getting her tattoo. Done with the outlining of the feathers. And how are you doing, baby? How you doing? Thumbs up. Cool. And we're getting Wanna set up still. We're pouring colors right now. Does she want a view of the tattoo? Let me, yeah, let me get a view of the tattoo. In there. So far. Looking pretty good. Thank you there, Mr. Unknown. No. All right, so. Anita has uh, told me to replace all the fixtures in here, the, uh, the faucet, got a new faucet. I have already replaced the shower head that was actually not working. I have a new set of uh, um, mixers for here and uh, the uh, tub stoppers set up I have as well. So. I'm going to tackle this, the sink. Now I would say that this is a relatively simple job, but whenever you're working with, with water, it, it always turns out to be not so simple. So, let's see how this works out. 
All right, here's a close-up of crystals so far. It's all laid out. We just got to do the coloring and the shading and all of that. How'd it feel, Crystal? Not bad. Don't hurt. And Sarah is still going to town over here on me. Falling asleep a few times over here. I Not haven't Sarah. fallen asleep. You've fallen asleep. Not Sarah, but me. And you keep falling asleep. That's a good thing. <laughs> I like to fall asleep when I get my tattoos done. So I've taken off the entire faucet and drain system, basically, which is pretty disgusting. And uh, the faucet comes with a whole new system, and I, it's all made out of PVC, which is awesome. This stuff doesn't rust. It's pretty strong. The old stuff uh, was rusty, had issues getting it off. So that was no fun. So um, it's I'm not running into issues, but it's it's not it's never easy. So all right, so I put the new one on. All right, what do you think? I love it. All right, let's get a close up. You're gonna have to take it there. I'm known. Totally dead. Oh. I did. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So everybody, this is where we're at so far. Sarah's doing a fantastic job. It's looking fabulous as always. I'm loving it. A lot of you may be wondering why a cardinal. Some of you already know the story. Some of you do not. Um, for about two weeks before my father passed, a male cardinal kept appearing in the backyard, just coming and going, not staying around. And then the morning that my father passed, the male and a female cardinal came in the yard and were playing in the yard for about two hours that morning. And the male cardinal probably got within maybe 10 feet of me and just stood there and stared at me for a good 10 minutes. I did put that on video, and I will link the video for you guys to see. But that is why I chose the cardinal and the saying that is with the cardinal. It does represent my father and... Um, one day when my mother does pass, we will add the female cardinal to the tattoo to represent my mother as well. So guys, we're off to the next part of our tattoo session. <coughs> Excuse me. Sarah is touching up my wolf that represented my pa. And we're working on that. And... The unknown boyfriend over there is working on doing color on Crystal's moon that she has on her arm and dedicating that to her mother. Tattoo with color. And the base added. How do you like it, Crystal? It's pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, so here's where we're going to stop for today. What do we got to still do? Hey. We need to add a lot more white. We need to detail the blues. Um, highlight the moon and stuff. And then add the dates that you wanted to add. But you're kind of wussing out and bleeding a lot. so I'm kind of wussing out. I'm tapping out, guys. Okay guys, so we are done with getting our tattoos for the day and we are heading back down the mountain. I think we're all pretty happy with our tattoos. I did not get the wolf completely finished. I was getting pretty sore so I needed to uh, do what they call tap out. That's right. After getting my leg done and then getting the, those much work done on my wolf as I did get done, I needed to tap out and it was getting late and uh, 
we got an hour and a half drive home, so we figured uh, we'd do it in the next city. Issues like missing um, blades in the uh, shades. I have them. I ha just didn't have time today to cut and put them up. But I did all the electrical outlets. I got new covers for the lights. I got new. Um, Hardware for the bathroom. It's all nice and clean looking. Everything is running. Nothing is leaking. The floor is still kind of dirty, but it's almost 10 at night. I'm exhausted. I just have to take this trash out and I'm on my way home. Well, I had a long day. <clears throat> I'm ready to go to bed. It's about 1 in the morning. Val is unconscious with Mojo. Crystal's still kind of awake over here. They got, they get tattoos. Me, I had to work all day. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends and family and relatives and neighbors and whatever. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.